Hello everyone, my name is Aaron, health coach for Partner MD in the Greenville, South Carolina office, and uh, I'd like to wish you a happy arthritis month. May is the National Arthritis Month, and uh, before we get started talking about the different types of exercise that might benefit you if you're dealing with uh, different stages of arthritis, I'll uh, give you one simple fact. 24% of American adults are dealing with arthritis. This is an extremely common disease and it's becoming more common, but uh, there are types of exercise that can benefit us if we ever come to uh, deal with arthritis. The first type of exercise is a uh, smooth, mindful movement. So the types of exercise in this category could be Pilates, or it could be yoga, or it could be Tai Chi or Qi Gong. You are moving smoothly. Uh, joints are moving a little bit more through their range of motion, obviously not all the way to their end of range of motion if that's uncomfortable for you, but uh, more than typical. And you can do these you know, at home, watching a YouTube video. A lot of gyms will offer Tai Chi or yoga. You can find a Pilates studio. There's Matt Pilates, there's Reformer Pilates, a lot of different options for this, but uh, this smooth movement can be really beneficial for someone who is dealing with arthritis. The second category is uh, resistance training. A lot of times when we think of resistance training, we think of jerky movements and really fighting the weight. Uh, you can think of Olympic lifting uh, as they do in the Olympics, uh, the clean and jerk, the snatch, or you can think of power lifting, you know, the deadlift, the squat, the bench press. This can be very jerky, so this is not necessarily recommended for someone dealing with arthritis, but in that same category of resistance training is basic resistance training where you're moving smoothly. Uh, there's slow strength, which is becoming very popular. It would be where you're lifting the weight for five or more seconds and then a nice pause and then lowering the weight for five or more seconds. This is very unique. Uh, if you do try this, it will probably feel very weird. Uh, or you can do basic resistance training where it's more of a one second lifting tempo followed by a one second lowering tempo. But as long as the joint is moving smoothly, uh, this will probably, probably be very beneficial for someone who is dealing with arthritis. And the last category of exercise we're going to talk about is cardiovascular exercise. So you can think of walking either outside or on a treadmill using an elliptical machine, uh, using a rower machine, or using a treadmill inside or a bicycle outside or inside stationary bicycle. This is excellent. This will keep the joints moving, which increases the uh, the ability of the synovial fluid in the joints to do what it is supposed to do and cushion the joints. And it will also get the heart rate up, which uh, just uh, pays lots of dividends in lots of different ways when you keep that heart rate above your normal level, smoothly breathing, of course, but uh, keeping it above the normal level for an extended period of time. So I hope you found this video interesting, talking about resistance training smoothly for arthritis, talking about body weight, uh, or reformer uh, mindful movement exercises and then talking about cardiovascular exercise. Always remember the best exercise is the exercise that is pain-free and enjoyable uh, so that you do a lot of it and you enjoy it. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the box below. And if you want to uh, design a workout plan with a little uh, guidance, please reach out to your health coach and uh, we are more than happy to help with this. So thanks very much for watching this video.